Oh, and health.com came out with a list of the 10 best pets for you if you have allergies. You know, dogs. Right. And I think it, there's one cat and two. Oh, I got him here, right. Um, and Steve, you have allergies, right? Yeah. And you're thinking about getting a dog, so I, like I know you were talking about what are the best dogs and worst dogs. But here's one of the best, a Labradoodle, because I guess the lab mixed with the poodle makes it hypoallergenic. Isn't Which that is true, something? yeah. Well, it just goes to show you. It's supposed to mix it up a little bit. That's, yes, that's right. <laughs> That's right. God meant for the, you know, the mutts are very healthy. They are. They're always the one with they the least are. problems. All right, this is the Bedlington Terrier, and all I can think of is a Dr. Seuss book or something. <laughs> look at that dog. I mean, look at those ears. It's very interesting. And he's all puffy like a little cute tub. Yeah. <laughs> it's cute. A sphinx, which is a hairless cat. Correct? Isn't a sphinx mm -hmm. hairless? Or is it short hair? Uh, well, it's, it's like microscopic hair almost. It looks like it's hairless, but... It's an attractive-looking creature, isn't it? <laughs> I could love this kitty, sure. And then, of course, well, everybody needs to be loved. The Chinese crested. <laughs> so those are the top dogs if you or and a cat if you have allergies. So, Steve, would you think maybe tomorrow if there's a Labradoodle here, you should think about yeah, it? Yeah, well, I appreciate that, Bonnie, and that's a great list. But uh -oh. Health.com, they didn't include a list of the pets you should not have if you have allergies. Well, and this is going to be fascinating because I got a feeling you had your magic marker out, didn't you, Steve? Yeah, well, I know you like to have a very informational daytime show, so this is well, a list. That's of... how you stay on the air. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, the... <laughs> what are we going to learn, Steve? Well, you're going to learn. These are the the pets you don't want if you have allergies. Like, for example, you don't want a pomeranian peanut spaniel. That. <laughs> <laughs> They're very rare, but... And, Never but you, heard of the Pomeranian peanuts. You, you can't let them follow you to school. You don't want a, a shaggy lint hound. That's bad, <laughs> obviously. Uh, oh. And the Viennese vacuum cleaner bag buster. They bred these specifically to tear up vacuum cleaner bags. I don't know why. I guess there was some call for that. They're trained? Yeah, it's, uh, it's something to do, do in Vienna. I don't know why. And uh, the toxic moldy terrier. It's got a lot of time. Oh, that one's... <laughs> It's one of the few yeah. green dogs. One of the few green yeah, dogs. Yeah, that could aggravate the esophagus. If you have a, a problem with shellfish or something, you probably don't want a, a, a shrimp poodle because they're half, <laughs> they're half shrimp and they're half poodle, and you don't, you don't want that. Thank you, Steve. Thanks, <laughs> Steve, we always learn something when he starts drawing. <laughs> It's always fun. Oh, this weekend, the infomercials for the Super Bowl. You know, we were always talking about I mean, commercials. I call them infomercials. But people like to make a big deal about seeing them. I prefer the low-budget commercials. Yeah. I always look forward to seeing, I think of them as many, uh, you know, independent films made on a <laughs> shoestring budget. Right. And they're always miracle products. And, you know, we're always showing you some of our own miracle products here that we've come up with on the show mm -hmm. and the commercials that we would do. And we're going to show you a few today, even before the Super Bowl. Yeah. Do we have a couple, like mm -hmm. two or three? Okay, yep. here we go. Girls with today's on-the-go lifestyle never go out without the birth control rabbit's foot. It might just be for you in six stylish colors. Act now and get a smiling bunny baby bib absolutely free. Here's one more. I actually ordered this product immediately. You did. Yes. Yes. Well, I like acting. Going all movie stars. Or anyone who wants to go from boring and barefaced to extra super cool. Wow! With magic sideburn markers, you can add Hollywood style sideburns to any face in just seconds. Easy to use and looks great on any type of head. Blonde, brunette, redhead, and even silver fox. Like magic. Magic sideburn markers. Magic sideburn markers wear off naturally in six to ten months of normal scrubbing. And the iPad came out last week. The iPad did, yeah, it's very cool. A lot of good reviews coming in. Mm -hmm. A little mix, but it's smaller than a laptop, bigger than a Blackberry or a cell phone. Mm -hmm. And um, we came up with one more product. And it's, well, it's bigger than a regular cupcake, but smaller than a full-size birthday cake. <laughs> it's the eye cake. Very excited about this. <laughs> Unlike the iPad, you guys, it does not, uh, the iPad does not have a USB portal. This does, so you can download ice cream. <laughs> it's 
This is lovely.